you for joining the online conference titled Embrace Creativity Amidst COVID-19 Crisis. My name is Christoph Fenvashi. I'm a researcher of STEAM learning and multidisciplinary education at the Finnish Institute for Educational Research. This online conference is a collaborative effort by the University of Uvascula's UNESCO Chairs and the Council for Creative Education Finland to celebrate United Nations World Creativity and Innovation Day on the 21st of April 2020. According to UNESCO's statistics, there are already more than one and a half billion children and youth who are being affected by school closures. This is certainly an important moment to discuss current topics related to creativities and innovations in education. Both creativity and innovation based on critical skills and competences that turn out to be vital in overcoming critical periods. Problem solving, critical thinking, applications of knowledge, responsibility for others is on display today in a brighter light than ever. At the Finnish Institute for Educational Research, our research group is focusing on innovative learning environments. Our field of research has dramatically transformed in the past few weeks due to COVID-19 safety measures. The technologies, spaces and the emotional and cognitive dimensions of learning and well-being are radically challenged by the isolation. Originally, all of our projects required intensive cooperation with the teachers, frequent school visits and meetings with the students. But now we need to reconfigure all project activities day by day to be able to find a way together with the students and teachers in this new era of schooling out of schools. I would like to share a few snapshots from our most current projects. These projects are implementing earlier results in the development of creative pedagogies, enhancing transversal and digital competences, inter- and multidisciplinary connections in learning, STEAM education, computational thinking, and modeling. Based on our learning scenarios, our colleagues from the universities of Helsinki and Tampere conducted hands-on STEAM learning workshops for 300 fifth and sixth grader students last spring. At that time, before the COVID-19, the geometrical modeling of footballs included the reference to various scientific structures like the carbon-60 molecule and several engineering and arts concepts. But none of us thought to extend these experiments towards the icosahedral virus structures. After the COVID-19 outbreak, at our last meeting with pre-service and in-service teachers in the project, we did not miss to call the attention to the icosahedral structures connections to virus structures. This was also an important opportunity to recognize with the help of Raidun Tvarok, a virus geometry expert, that we cannot give an exact representation of COVID-19 with our tools due to the helical shape of COVID-19's nucleocapsid and the asymmetric position of its spike proteins. At our first and last meeting with sixth grader students in the Modeling at School project, we practiced algorithmic thinking and computational modeling based on activity diagrams of the hygienic hand wash and of the protocol of what to do if someone suspects of having coronavirus infection. It is actually not a new idea to implement STEAM approach in the development of critical skills and motivating application of learning results by modeling emergency situations. This Korean collection is an excellent example of ensuring safety through the creative and innovative implementation of scientific knowledge. It is impressive to see that how our Serbian colleague Natalia Budinski's cooperation with Kraftbot has switched into COVID-19 mode. Before the crisis, Natalia wanted to experiment with 3D printed models in the math classroom. Now she is modeling and printing face shields together with her students for doctors who are working in the front line of the pandemic. There are several more examples what would be important to mention here. Let me include just only a few more. Our mathematical art project 
which became very successful due to her South African colleagues at the Nelson Mandela University, reflecting to the crisis in the language of mathematical art. The huge response received from South African children also during the epidemic proves that there is a great need for calls, projects and activities which doesn't require any special device and can be done with inexpensive materials. In Europe, a country which suffered a lot from the pandemic is preparing to continue their science outreach activities and organizing the Italian STEAM movement also in these new conditions. To get into touch with all these projects, I suggest you to visit the homepage of Innovative Learning Environments Research Group at the Finnish Institute for Educational Research and search for the STEAMnet Education Network. Join us today. Thank you a lot for your attention. Thank you.